हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नमस्ते पेरेंट्स आई एम जिजेश जोशी आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट एकेडमिक स्ट्रेटेजीज फॉर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रेस्टिजियस एग्जाम आईआईटी आई टी जे एडवांस आई एम टीचिंग मैथमेटिक्स फॉर जे एडवांस फॉर लास्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री ईयर्स आई हैव टॉट इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड कम थ्रू सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव टॉप्ड हु हैव टॉप्ड इन टॉप फिफ्टी टॉप हंड्रेड टॉप टू हंड्रेड इन आई टी एग्जाम it is considered to be one of the toughest exam in asia so let's discuss about the iit iit j advance exam and academic strategies for the examination preparation let's start with iit indian institute of technology it is considered to be one of the best technical institution or engineering colleges in india and j advance examination is the gateway to iit as such j advance examination is the second stage J main is the first stage and it is the screening stage so first of all you are supposed to appear for J main examination if you get qualify in J main examination that means you come under 225000 students all over india then you will be eligible to appear for J advance examination and that is the main examination for iit now let's come to the point why iit j is so much famous and uh, it has so high hype in the society is it real hype or literally an imaginary hype let's discuss about all these things j e advance examination also targets pcm that means physics chemistry and maths of standard 11th and 12th only ncert board examination also targets 12th board pcm if you are looking for engineering as a career option and j main also targets 11th and 12th pcm if you are aspiring for engineering as a career option then what's the difference between these three examination so first of all i would like to divide my session in three parts part number 1 what is the basic difference between board examination j main and j advance examination what is it that makes j advance examination one of the toughest examination especially in india or you can say asia so let's start with the board examination if you consider a circle let's divide your syllabus in a circle then cbse curriculum or cbse examination is all the particles lying on the surface of the circle so that means you are supposed to go through the fundamentals and theoretical parts as far as board syllabus is concerned you must have great learning you must have great writing skills then you will be through in the board examination as far as main examination is concerned j main you must be preparing little bit in depth only theoretical part will not do anything you have to have in depth knowledge and application part clearance to clear j main 20 2026 or j main 2027 or any other examination whatever and whenever you are targeting it for if you are looking for for j advance examination as i told you i have been teaching mathematics for j advance for last 23 years what i have observed i am sharing the essence of all the theoretical portion application portion and important parameters which are to be taken care of while preparing see the main toughness of j advance examination is not the syllabus not the questions or not the out of the world some strange and absurd theoretical portion examination deals with only 11th and 12th standard theoretical portion and its application part but the main toughness is freshness of the question when you are entering into the classroom and you are facing the examination paper you will be going through all the different question that you have never seen and that is the main toughness questions freshness definitely is going to make you nervous because you have not seen the question so your memory switch will be in a off position you will not be able to recall anything and that's why you will feel uncomfortable that is the very first point second point no doubt you require extremely in depth application part knowledge as far as all the three subjects physics chemistry and maths are concerned only 
rote learning process will not serve the purpose as far as IIT is concerned because IITs are looking for the people who can have creative mind and who can explore the corporate world or technical world in the best possible ways. So they are looking for the people who can definitely make difference in the society by exploring their technical knowledge, management knowledge or nowadays I think uh, business management knowledge also. So as far as exam is concerned, you must have in-depth understanding of physics, chemistry and maths. Only rote learning or getting through formulae or theoretical portion will not serve the purpose. You are supposed to face so many different different situations, new new questions and you are supposed to go through all the different application parts of each and every theoretical point. If you will do that, you will definitely excel in the examination. Number three point, why IITs are so much important. Let's come to that. If we are looking forward for engineering as a career option, then IITs are the most prestigious institutions all over India. I am talking about engineering courses, no doubt B.Tech or M.Tech or whatever you say, that's a different story, but technical courses. IITs are one of the prestigious institutions in India, not only in India, in Asia also. And they churn only, you can say, approximately 17,000 students all over India. In JMN, every year almost 14 lakh students appear. Out of 14 lakh, 2 lakh 25,000 students get qualified for J advance. And out of those 2 lakh 25,000, approximately 17,000 students get seat in IITs. So that is the, I think, uh, hype. You can say real hype. It's not an imaginary hype. But IIT J advance is not a difficult exam. It's a different exam. If you have the aptitude for that, then you can crack it. India is famous for their beautiful exams like IITs, UPSC, IM CAT exams and all these exams require better understanding, not only rote learning. All the very best to all the students. Make sure whenever you learn, whenever you study, try to understand all the subjects depth wise. Always go for the derivations, how the things have been derived. Don't jump directly to the conclusions or formula. If you are really good at the derivation of the things, if you are really good at application part of the things, then you will come up with flying colors in IDJ advanced examination also. Thank you so much. Anyways, if you have any query, any problem or any confusion about the details about board examinations, pattern, marking scheme or any academic confusion, you can definitely drop down your queries in the comment box. We will definitely reply on that promptly.